sitting on this bench. He's not gonna sniff it, right? Perverts. All right, Miss Fang. I'm Sung Ah Kim. Hong I'm eight. Kim and Lee. She like pigeon toed or something? What's going on? First time in the girls' bathroom? No, actually, I was in here before. He just killed that boy. at me girl huh not bad thanks a lot me not bad you see my magical powers that i had i was floating in everything this school seems dangerous i think the janitor's crazy next time do it on your own <laughs> you're not trying to scare me are you i'm not that gullible fine go get bodied Oh, Crack that but did you know ass pixie cut. this school used to be a hospital during the Korean War? Rumor has it the whole school is haunted. What was that? Because so many people died here during that time. Maybe the rumor's true. I mean, especially on a night like this. Boo! <laughs> did I scare you? I guess you don't like ghost stories, huh? Is he really holding his heart? <laughs> Oh, the doors are probably all locked by now. They lock all the doors after 10. Except for the lecture hall lobby, that is. If we want to leave, we have to go to the lecture hall. You know the new building, lecture hall, and here are all connected, right? I just got here, girl! Here. This is the key to that hallway there. Could you open it on your way out? Go ahead. I still have something to do. What do you do? Feast on the bodies that the janitor freaking... Ah. Extra plus two solid top security central hallway key. Okay. Oh, I guess the door closed behind me. I guess that's what that was. Excuse me. Leave her for the janitor. Is this supposed to be a puzzle too? Am I supposed to do something with this? glasses she's cute I got glasses too <sighs> oh that was close if you sneak in at night the janitor gets terribly angry oh if he catches you the punishment is harsh that's not just harsh that that stuff's like against all kinds of international law or something like that Geneva Convention kind of stuff Punished? Is that what you call a punishment? He looks crazy! What do you mean? Um... Anyway, he's nice in the daytime. What is he, You're Jekyll and Hyde? You're the transfer student. I'm in your homeroom. Remember? No, I don't think I do. Sorry. Yeah, you were with So Young earlier today, right? Uh, I mean, I think she was. She was the girl, right? That girl had glasses. I mean, I do remember her being with so young earlier in the day. I mean, this is the most accurate. You know so young? Well, I guess everybody knows her, actually. Oh? I'm Jihon Sol. You're Human Lee, right? Anyway... 
what are you doing here at this hour? Look at her being all cute! I have something to give to So Young. I'm just running some errands. I don't know, I think she's cuter than So Young. She's an adorable little soul sister. Uh, I don't know. I think if I say this, I might hurt her feelings. She seems like she might actually be kind of into us. I'm going to just drop this one. Mm. I think you're incredibly brave. All alone this late. Yeah, look at her doing the little twist. Tell me something. I always see you alone. Don't you have friends? You want to be my friend? I've got you. Ooh. Don't worry about it. I like being alone. Oh, this is kind of coming on a little strong. I like being, I mean, I do in reality. I like being alone. I'm thinking she's, I mean, she wants to be more than friends. Let's go ahead. She's like, she's feeling us. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's right. But you'll make more soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye-bye. Be careful. She low-key kind of looks a tiny bit like I did before I got my face cut. Uh, the janitor will chase after you if he finds you while he's on patrol. Be careful when you turn on the light or run because the chances of getting caught by the janitor will increase and he will mess you up. He will split your head like a pumpkin. In a difficulty level below normal mode, you can check the status of the janitor with the eye-shaped icon. Oh, I thought it said below. Bro, why is your creep game? Oh, it's too dark to see. Whatever that is, I probably can't see it either. trying to tell on me go on man go y'all up in my way I'm trying to do things yeah go that go on go Stop it! Hold up. Did that door just open? Uh-uh. What is that? What is all that? Okay, well, I don't hear, uh, I don't hear him. So let's... We might have to move fast. Turn it off. What is that noise? Oh, hell no. Is that him? Can you peek? Is there like a peek mechanic? What did I just do? Oh my god. <gasps> no, man. 
Can I get under this desk? whispering but they telling they're telling on me Give it a, a little bit. Is there like a speaker? Like an intercom? So that's locked. What's this? Okay, so I need a combination for this. maintenance request slip facility uh, submitted by faculty head teacher requested to faculty maintenance department request there's a creaking noise coming from the third floor hallway in front of the music room in the main building too we suspect the wooden boards are worn out the risk there's a risk of it com coming com blah, 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 blah. there's a risk of it coming completely loose endangering the students it's urgent that the board is repaired as quickly as possible yes we must repair things but that's not my job. Turn that off real quick. Some kind of weight. I'm just gonna collect things. A uh, new installation notice to avoid constant replacement of locks keys used in the school. We have purchased a machine that can combine and disassemble keys and have, have it placed in the workshop. We ask facility management to train all involved parties on the uses and maintenance of the machine. Combining instructions. Put two small keys in the tray. Pull the lever to combine. You cannot combine a key that has already been combined. Disassembly instructions. Put a combined key on the tray. Pull the lever to disassemble. The current keys to the mailboxes throughout the school will be placed, replaced with combined keys. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Okay. So that's what that machine was for. But how do you know which keys you combine? Is there like a uh, specific... Yeah, this isn't telling me if I can... It's locked. Locked. Awesome. Mi Hyun quickened her steps towards the classroom. Whatever sunlight there was had now completely disappeared, and the school was covered in darkness. Mi Hyun was annoyed with her friends. They had stopped on their way home to chat with her, even though she was still busy cleaning. They didn't even offer to help and just left her on her own when they ran out of things to talk about. This made Mi Hyun uneasy as why high school was full of scary rumors. To make matters worse, she saw no students around today. She found the echoing of her own footsteps quite nerve-wracking. Her anxiety grew even more when she saw the potted tree in the corner of the hallway. This plant used to belong to her homeroom teacher last year. It reminded her of him 
and what happened that year. Her homeroom teacher, Mr. B, taught Chinese. He was quiet and had a thin build. He gave off a sad vibe. He wasn't friendly at all, not even trying to connect with his students or fellow teachers. He did, however, seem interested in maintaining his plants. He took extra care in the plant of his homeroom, junior homeroom too. He cared for his plant so much that he checked on it every class break. Then one day, a student accidentally dumped chemical solvent on Mr. B's favorite tree. The tree turned black and shriveled up completely. Afraid of the repercussions, the student replaced the tree and decided to burn the old one. Even his friends were in on his plan. Together, they moved the dead plant to the incinerator and lit it on fire. The dead tree easily caught fire and was soon burning with billowing black smoke. When the flames grew more intense, a scream was heard. It was like the burning tree was screaming out in pain. That's when Mr. B came running. Watching his favorite tree burning made him go crazy. Before anyone could reason with him, he dashed into the open flames to be with his favorite tree in the fire. Both Mr. B and the tree were engulfed in flames in a matter of seconds. No one spoke. Everyone was in shock from what they had just observed. Judging from the matching statements from the students involved, the police decided that it was a case of suicide by delusion. Mi Hyun was there that day at the incinerator. That's why every time she saw a plant Mr. B used to care for, it made her shiver. She normally made an effort not to pass through where the plants were. She would have walked around it today, too, if she wasn't in such a hurry. Mi Hyun tried hard to calm herself down when she saw a light on in a nearby classroom. She heard someone moving in there, too. So scared of being left alone in the dark building, she was happy to see that there was someone else in school. But what she saw was the back of a man in front of a plant. Mi Hyun froze in terror when she realized what she was seeing. This was her homeroom from last year. Junior homeroom two. The man slowly turned around and faced Mi Hyun. He was holding a dog's corpse with its belly ripped open and his other hand was covered in blood. Behind him, Mi Hyun could see that blood and organs were covering the leaves and stems. He slowly approached Mi Hyun and said, Oh good, I was running out of food for my tree. And we're back. Okay, we got a, oh. You can turn on or off the lighter with R1. Using a lighter lets you brighten the area without getting caught by a janitor, but the area is very limited. Lighter will turn off if you run, so be careful. Okay, so I think we hit up everything in here. Go ahead and save. Okay, I think I, uh, I did everything here. So we saved. Let's head out. They're saying something saying so young. Can I go out here? Uh, why did everything stop suddenly? 
That's a little creepy. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Why is it going to just stop like that? We'll keep moving. What is this? So where do I go? Do I go here? Oh, okay. So there's stairs here. Um, so I think I go to the stairs. Okay. Sit down. Can't do anything here. Actually. Woo! Holy crap! falling apart? What was that? So I assume the janitor can still hear you even in the stairway. I don't even know where he's at. How far up does... Hey, hey! Oh my gosh, all these noises. What's that? Oh. Love letter, ooh. Confession, written by a female student. Can I open it? Let me open it. I can't open it? I guess not. That sucks. Alright, I don't know which way to go. So there's a door here. I think there was another one down here too. So we'll go down. Right? Is that right? This door is open. Okay, no, it is this one. I kind of got myself turned around. Uh-uh, get me out of there. What? what? Uh-uh, no. Okay, I can't open that. You know what? Close that behind me. Tehun was serving detention again. He was made to write an essay to apologize for beating someone up that afternoon. The real problem Tehun had was that he was the only one being punished. He suspected that the boy he fought was from a wealthy family. Tehun knew the faculty coordinator was corrupt enough to take bribes. Unlucky day, he thought. His arm felt like it was going to fall from all the writing he did. To top it off, he was also hurting from the fight. The other student couldn't beat him fair and square, so he had grabbed a broom and swung it at Tehun. It was at the moment that Tehun had just taken away the broom that the faculty coordinator showed up. Because of that, Tehun ended up getting beaten even more. Thinking about everything that happened made him angry again. He tried to calm himself down and was determined to beat up the boy as soon as he came to school tomorrow. 
Suddenly, he heard a clattering sound in the closet behind him. It sounded like a mouse was trapped inside. Since the building was very old, it wasn't rare to find a mouse in school. He tried to ignore it and concentrate on writing his essay, but the clattering sound continued. Already agitated, Taehoon violently threw open the closet doors. What he found was not a mouse. There were rumors that a ghost's head had been seen flying out of that closet. There were also rumors that male students had been found inside the closet, with their bodies crushed and mangled. The teachers tried to contain it, but the story spread like wildfire. According to rumors, the school was used as a concentration camp for political prisoners during the occupation. Many people died here after being tortured, with the dishonor of being labeled traitors. One of these tortured souls included a woman who was arrested on behalf of her husband, who dodged conscription during the war. She was tortured viciously to reveal the whereabouts of her husband, but kept her silence. In the end, they locked her up in a specially designed closet where she could neither lie nor sit. She died slowly in agony without being able to move. It was after the war ended that her corpse was recovered. It is said they had difficulty putting her body in a coffin because her neck and knees were bent stiffly at odd angles. Students believe that her ghost still wanders around in the walls of the school. It is said that if you open a closet at night, she will stick out her twisted neck to claim her next victim. Well, that's just nasty.